All right, I'm sorry, but this this is so blatantly idiotic that it's not even funny. It's not even it's not even right. We've got multiple reactors in at least two well, yeah, definitely two nuclear power plants in Japan. And they're saying that there's nothing to be afraid of from the radiation. You know, CNN, MSNBC, Fox News. Well, question. Why did the U.S. 7th Fleet divert away from Japan? What? Why? The reason is, is that there was a freaking radiation cloud. Radiation cloud! The radioactive particles were carried from the plant, from the nuclear, from the nuclear reactors. After they blew up and melted down, they were carried into the upper atmosphere via the jet stream and the wind. And they are now heading for the west coast of the United States. There is footage from Japan showing Japanese soldiers wearing gas masks. Checking people with radio with Gaga counters and radiation detectors. This they also have Japanese refugee personnel. In chemical suits and protective gas masks, doing the same to other people. Seventeen U.S. helicopter crews from the U.S. Navy are being treated due to radiation exposure. The Japanese government is passing out radiation sickness pills I'm sorry but if you don't think if you, you don't think that radiation radiation isn't a problem then I'm sorry there's there's something wrong with you the th just because they do their nuclear process differently than what the Russians did at Chernobyl doesn't mean that it's any less dangerous. Because the rate, because the problem is, um, is, is the following. You have multiple nuclear reactors that melted down. Multiple and that are spreading the radiation not just in Japan but to the west coast of the United States and other parts of the world now this is blatant lies they're saying that the radiation isn't dangerous it is are you kidding me And that's just from just from the two plants that have been confirmed. Other reports are saying that there are two other plants facing similar facing so facing the same problems. I'm sorry, but you you have to be to be an idiot. You'd have to be an idiot. To believe that crap. The expo two con two confirmed explosions in one of the plants. The nuclear rods at one of them have been exposed for forty hours with n with no water, no cooling system, nothing. I'm sorry, but. It's there! You can't cover 
bring this up anymore. You can't deny it. It's just right in front of your, your stinking face. It's right there. And I'm sorry. If the news media thinks I'm going to believe their story that this radiation is harmless, then they are shit out of luck. Because I'm sorry. You can't say that the radiation at one moment is dangerous and then all of a sudden, oh, there's nothing wrong. It, I'm sorry. No. No. The radiation is out. And people have been exposed to it. So, how stupid do you have to be?